Yes, the Amber Alert. I, I see him. He's right here. We're heading to Cedar Point. He's at the exit. I'm not going to let him go. I know it's a kid. I actually, you know, I, I'm a CCW holder, and I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm, I know I'm not doing nothing, but I'm just, I'm prepared to follow until you guys get here. Saved. An alert citizen spots a vehicle involved in an Amber Alert and helps police nail a father accused of taking his son. Well, Amber Alerts are used when children are abducted or kidnapped. Some 262 thousand children are abducted each and every year, mostly by family members. The goal is to get each and every one of these kids home safely. Tonight we take an in-depth look at this tool to save children. And we start with News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos. Tracy, eight-year-old Kevin Chris is safe now with his mom. Absolutely, and police say that that Amber Alert ended because people were paying attention. Les Brock and his three friends were heading to Cedar Point for looking for some thrills today. They had no idea what would happen before they got to the park. At Lemmy's restaurant in Huron this morning, they were talking about the Amber Alert that had just been issued. And so were the four people who had just sat down and ordered breakfast before heading to Cedar Point for the day. Uh, we all got the Amber Alert and we kind of made a game of it, memorizing the plate for some reason and talking about the car. At that split second, out the window, there was a 2003 Olds Silhouette van. It turned out to be the same one police were looking for. Tabitha Loroff was waiting on the table. It was at the gas station. So it came around this corner, and that's how he noticed it. He ran to the window, looked, the license plate number was the same. They were screaming back and forth to remember the license plate. And at that moment, Les Brock couldn't believe his eyes. He knew it was the van police were looking for. Les and his buddy Willie Schwinn called 911, jumped into the car, and began tailing the van. Yes, the Amber Alert. I, I see him. He's right here. We're heading to Cedar Point. He's at the exit. The two Good Samaritans kept dispatchers up to date for the next several minutes as they passed local landmarks. I'm not going to let him go. I know it's a kid. I actually, you know, I, I'm a CCW holder, and I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm, I know I'm not doing nothing, but I'm just, I'm prepared to follow until you guys get here. Minutes later, police had 36 year old Kevin Chris in custody. His eight year old son, Kevin Chris Jr., was safe. We never were risking our lives, you know. We were following a guy, you know, and that's not a hero. We followed him, we saw what he was doing, we communicated it on the phone. Anybody could have done it. The little boy was reunited late this morning with his mother. It's absolutely the best case scenario, and again, that's because of Mr. Brock and his friend. And they did everything right. And we thank them for that. We're just trying to save a little kid, and some mom's going to be, you know, ecstatic. So she can thank God, not us. The group made it to the park today, never imagining the ride that would get them there. Now, Kevin Chris Sr. is locked up in jail tonight. He will be arraigned tomorrow. As for Les and his friends, the owner of that restaurant that they were at thinks that they are heroes, and the owner of Lemmy says he picked up the tab for their breakfast. Reporting live in Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.